Hi guys, it's Lizzie from the Academy team and this is the ZV-1 Mark II from Sony. Now I know what you're probably thinking, yet another vlogging camera from Sony and didn't they only release the ZV-E1 a couple of months ago? Well, yes and yes to both of those, but there is good reason to be excited by this one. Okay, so before I run through the spec and features of this new camera, I figured I would just take a minute to go through the current ZV range because there are now a few cameras sitting in the lineup and each one does serve a purpose. Starting off at top of the range, we have the ZV-E1. Now, this camera was released a couple of months ago, and this is your full-frame, interchangeable lens, mirrorless solution for creating professional-looking cinematic video with complete ease. Next up, we have the ZV-E10. Now, this is an APS-C-sized sensor mirrorless, which still offers you all of that versatility and flexibility in the content that you can create by being an interchangeable lens camera. This would be the perfect choice if you still wanna be shooting great quality video, but you're not quite ready to go full frame. Moving on to the compacts, and we start with the ZV-1F. Now this is designed to give you a really simplistic vlogging experience with its fixed 20mm f2 wide-angled lens, making it perfect for first-timers or for people who just want to improve on their audio and visual recording capabilities, or if you just really love to vlog. Then we move on to the OG, the ZV-1. Now this was Sony's first vlogging camera or camera designed specifically for vloggers and content creators in mind. And I absolutely adore this camera. It is actually the one that I'm currently shooting on right now. And it is the one that I use to film the majority of my content. I mean, what's not to love about it? It is compact, it's lightweight. It offers great video quality, great audio quality without the need for a built-in microphone and you also get all of those features that we now love from this vlogging series product showcase mode the bokka switch so you can get an easy blurry background which i just love so this is a great choice for anybody who loves to vlog wants to create content again wants it easy but also wants it in a really small package and i guess that leads me on quite nicely to its updated brother, sister, sibling, <laughs> the ZV-1 Mark II. So it's taken everything that people have loved from the original ZV-1, but also added in some new features from the ZV-E1. This, this is great. And I'm gonna show you why. Hello, so I have switched to shooting on the ZV-1 Mark II, still with my Sony clip-on microphone, but I will do a audio test later for you because there has been some really cool upgrades made to the built-in mic. So don't worry, I will show you. But I figured seeing as this is a camera designed for vloggers and content creators, and we've got some really decent weather for a change, I would take you on a micro adventure and show you just how easy it is to create some good looking content with minimal equipment with complete ease. Let's go. On first glance, you'd be forgiven for not thinking much has changed from its predecessor, the ZV-1. I mean, it pretty much looks the same and we've still got the 20.1 megapixel, one inch Exmor RS CMOS sensor, 4K 30 video recording, as well as full HD up to 120, electronic image stabilization, fast precise phase detection AF, as well as the much loved product showcase mode and background blocker switch. We've still got that recording tally light on the front of the camera that also appears as a red box on screen, so you'll always be sure that you're actually recording. But as you'd expect, we've got some upgrades and some new features. 
the first one being the lens as we now have a wider angle this lens is an 18 to 50 f 1.8 to 4 versus the original 24 to 70 f 1.8 to 2.8 certainly makes for a better vlogging angle just to fit more of yourself in or to fit more of your background scenery if that's what you're trying to show off the built-in microphone has also been given an upgrade. It's still the intelligent three-capsule mic, but now, just like on the ZV-E1, we're able to change its directivity. This is great if you're not looking to record with an external microphone, but you still want to be sure that you can be heard whether you are in front of the camera or behind it. Now we're just going to have to pretend that I'm pointing out something really fascinating. On the horizon. The AF recognition in movie mode has been upgraded to include animals and not just humans. We've also got multi-face recognition when recording which will automatically adjust the bokeh and focus when someone new walks into frame. We've got improved on-screen controls so if you like the operability of using the touch screen you can zoom in with the tap of a button or swipe up for your frequently used settings. You can record up to five times slow motion or 60 times hyperlapse in the S and Q mode. And there's also a feature called Shot Mark, which allows you to quickly find your favorite scenes or clips, even if you've recorded for a long time. We've now got a USB-C port, which might not seem like a big deal to some, but for me and my endeavor to carry less and less stuff around with me, it's one less cable that I need to pack. When it comes to creative adjustments in camera, then the ZV-1 Mark II is packed full of them. We've got 10 different creative looks for you to choose from, and if that wasn't enough, then just like on the ZV-E1, we've also got the cinematic vlog settings, featuring five different looks and four different moods for you to choose from. And this is exactly what I'm gonna be using today to create some really nice looking content without the need to spend hours in post. to find out any more information on the Sony ZV-1 Mark II then head on over to jessops.com now or pop into your nearest store where one of our experts will be more than happy to help. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on this latest addition to the ZV lineup in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and smash that bell icon so you can stay up to date on all of our latest content. 
that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.